Hi, I'm Robin Johnston and you're watching Obsessed with Tech. Uh, on today's episode, I'm really excited about what we got for you. We have a Drop.io, or Drop.io. It's a Web 2.0 app. And we also have Sean Carruthers is, is joining us today. And he's gonna talk about the things that he's obsessed about in our brand new celebrity tech spot. So stick with us, Obsessed with Tech is coming at you. This is Obsessed with Tech with Robin Johnston where we take a look at the latest hardware and software. We also find the coolest gadgets and the neatest websites and the latest, greatest podcast. And now, here's Robin. I uh, first heard about uh, Drop.io or Drop.io uh, when I was on Molly McDonald's site, uh, Demo Girl, and she has a really good tutorial if you want to learn more about uh, Drop.io than what we cover here. But basically what this is, is it's a site that is so easy to use. I've never actually been on a, a site that is so easy to use. In about two seconds, you can get there and start using it. But what it basically is, is it's a site that allows you to go and, and basically create a virtual uh, safety deposit box where you can deposit uh, files, uh, pictures, videos, whatever you want, documents, whatever you want. You can set up a, a box and then set however long you want the box to, to live for, whether it's a, a day, a week, a month, a year, whatever. And and you can set restrictions on who gets to access that. So it's really great for collaborating and for sharing. I went there and I set up one for uh, Obsessed with Tech. And if you want, you can just go to www.drop.io slash uh, obsessed with tech and that'll be our Dropbox and if you want to drop something in there for me a picture or a file or a video or whatever you can drop that in by default when you first go there you can make a box and you get I believe a hundred megs if you want to pay ten dollars you can get one gig and I think it's one of the coolest applications that I've been around. Like I said, I first heard about it on Molly McDonald's site and just recently uh, I was listening to Net at Night with, uh, with Amber and Leo and, and they mentioned it again and I thought, you know what, this is a really cool site and I wanna, I wanna put this in the show. So uh, do go check out Dropio and uh, you will not be sorry. It's one of the coolest apps out there for Web 2.0. Today on Obsessed with Tech, we introduce a brand new celebrity tech segment. And the basic premise behind this is that uh, we, uh, we ask celebrities or people we look up to and respect what tech they're obsessing about. Uh, we, we have in the past, we've looked at things that I'm obsessing about and you've wrote in and, and shared with me things that you're obsessing about. So now I thought I would take it one step further and we go out into, into the people that we respect and see what they're obsessing about. And I'm so happy that our first first guest on, on this segment is Sean Carruthers. Uh, because Sean and Andy, uh, both Andy Walker, both helped shape this podcast and have answered many questions along the way for me. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Sean Carruthers, uh, he's done lots of work with uh, Call for Help with Leo Laporte in the past, the Canadian version, and also the, the lab with Leo. And uh, he does a very popular podcast called Lab Rats. So I was just thrilled when, when Sean agreed to do a segment. So I don't want to sort of spoil what Sean's doing, but uh, here's Sean and he's going to, uh, to tell us what he's obsessing about. Sean? Thanks, Robin. Well, I get to see a whole lot of technology, so I'm obsessed over quite a few things. One of them that I'm obsessed over these days is the Take Two uh, feature on Apple TV. You can update it now if you haven't already done so, if you've got one of the original ones. It allows you to rent movies, allows you to display your Flickr stream, a whole pile of other functions that weren't on here before, and I'm really loving it. It's more useful than it was before. I'm actually showing off some of my Flickr uh, stream right now, pulling it down live from Flickr. Um, got a lot of pictures of birds on here. One of the things that I'm actually obsessing over because of that is my new camera. It's a Canon XTI, a Rebel XTI, and I've got a Sigma lens, which is 28 millimeters to 300 millimeters, so very good zoom on this thing. Not very expensive. It's not uh, gonna give you as wide open an aperture as uh, a lot of the ones that are just dedicated, you know, 300 millimeter lenses, but you know, for a good all-purpose lens, this one is actually reasonably affordable. So definitely recommended for anyone who wants to uh, have both the big zoom and the wide shot. One of the other things that other people seem to be obsessing over, which I can't blame them for, is the MacBook Air. So this right here, so small you can actually hide it underneath another computer. You already knew you could put it in an envelope. Really, really skinny here. 
no ability to replace the battery, which a lot of people are complaining about. It's a bit of a problem if you're on uh, trips that are longer in about three to five hours. But uh, you know, if you have access to an AC outlet, not bad afterwards. LED backlight makes it really, really bright and readable. Gesture based track pads, so you can do rotate, you can do the pinch and the zoom, and you can also do three finger scrolling now, which you couldn't before. Uh, don't really like the uh, fact that this is all you have for connectivity right here. No firewire, which means that anyone who wants to do multimedia production in the field, mm, this is probably not the best machine to do it. A little bit underpowered processor wise compared to the other notebooks, but you know, it is actually a full core too. So it is actually still fairly fully featured, fully powered for, for most users out there. Uh, the lack of connectivity makes it not so great a choice, like I said, for people who really want to do serious work in the field, but for people who just want to pick it up, throw it into the briefcase and go, it's a great choice, especially with the solid state drive. Um, less, uh, less space on the drive, but it does actually cut down on battery usage because you don't have a spinning hard disk inside. Really expensive, but you know, this is the price for fashion. Anyways, that's what I'm obsessed with right now. Thanks a lot, Robin. Back to you. Thank you so much, John. Some really cool, really cool gadgets there. I, I don't know if the air is for me, but uh, it really does look cool. So thank you once again, Sean, and I really do appreciate that. And if once again, if you have not gone and checked out Lab Rats with Sean Carruthers and Andy Walker, please do yourself a favor. Go and check it out. It's probably one of the best podcasts that, that's out there in the technology field anyway. So do go and check that out. Um, I'd also like to just on a personal note, thank Sean for, uh, for doing this. Um, He's, uh, he really went out of his way to, to make a, a quality episode like, like you saw. And I sent this, this request out to, to many people in the first batch. And I did get a lot of responses. And uh, I, I know that how busy Sean is. And he's in the middle of a move and, and job transition. And for him to go out and do this for me really, really meant a lot. So uh, besides being an excellent podcaster and, uh, and a content uh, person on both the lab and uh, call for help, uh, in our eyes of this show, I think he's a pretty amazing person. So thank you very much, Sean, and, uh, and we wish you well. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, come back and join us next episode when our guest, our special guest will be, I guess the mystery is going to be gone now, but it's going to be Chris Perillo. Uh, I also sent off uh, an email to Chris Perillo and he responded and uh, he, uh, he let us use one of his segments on uh, what he's obsessed about. So do tune in next time when our guest will be Chris Perillo. Thanks for watching and get obsessed with your tech. This has been another episode of Obsessed with Tech. Thanks for watching this Robin J production. Also, a huge kudo to all those who helped make this episode possible. So, we'll see you next time when you'll say that you are also Obsessed with Tech. <laughs>